Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, back to Scrap Mechanics Survival Mode, and today we have a pretty significant update to look through. Uh, we have oil fields are apparently a thing now, which is one of the most highly anticipated things for me. Actually, that was one of the biggest things holding me back from building this flyer, and that's why I'm in the flyer right now, because I'm not nearly as concerned about using fuel, because we're going to have so much more capability to harvest oil in much bigger quantities much quicker but the other big thing is the logbook is now in the game which i do not have yet i actually have to go get it we're gonna fly over to go get it um and other than that oh actually before we do that uh apparently there's some new sh uh shirts with the garment boxes and i have a whole bunch of excess of these garment boxes and i think these new shirts are common, which means that I can actually use these now. And I'm pretty sure there are six. And I have one, two, three, four. All right, so let's see if I can actually do this. Oh, of course I need cotton. Let's let's get some cotton on me. There we go. All right, yes, I can actually use some of these garment boxes now. I forgot that this takes time. So I'm just gonna skip through all this and you're gonna see the new clothes really soon. All right, what? Ooh, this is new. Look at this. This garment box animation is awesome. All right, let's go ahead and unbox it. Is that a corn shirt? Do we really have a shirt that has a corn texture on it? Okay, let's go torso. And there it is. It is called Corn Pattern T-Shirt. Yep. Good old Corn Pattern T-Shirt. <laughs> All right. All right, up next, we have a Logic shirt. Let's go ahead and put this on and take a look at it. Keep it logical. I actually like that. I like the way that the text is uh, outlining the corners of the Logic gate. That's pretty cool. But actually, I feel like that fits these glasses a lot. Somebody wearing these glasses would definitely say something like this. All right, up next, we have, that's what I'm talking about, gas. <laughs> that fits really well with this update. With the, ah, my character's running. Oh, what? Can I? No, I can... I'm not pressing anything. I can get stuck. I just realized that I can get stuck in the uh, the walking animation or running and or swimming, any animation. All right, anyway, let's take a look at this gas shirt. Gas, gas, gas. All right, what do we got next? Oh, oh I actually kind of like this one. This is a cow shirt or a walk shirt, rather. Let's take a look. Where is it? Ah, oh, walk, love. Look at the eyes. The eyes are so cute and shiny in this art. <laughs> All right, up next, we got carrot pattern t-shirts. Okay, and then I think we got one more after this. All right, let's take a look at the carrot pattern. Oh, definitely not my preferred style, but interesting art. Oh, really quick, while this last shirt is uh, sewing, I actually have an announcement to make. I have just recently released on the merch store a limited time only ugly Christmas sweater themed Scrapman shirts based off of the channel. So if you click on the link in the description and you head on to the merch store, you can see that right here we have ugly Scrapmas sweater. Okay, this is a Scrapman themed ugly Christmas sweater and this was actually hand designed by me. I actually did pixel art to design all this stuff. We got the classic suspension mug on here. Of course, we got the gear patterns, different types of gear patterns. We got the, uh, the cog tooth pattern as well and then a tread plate pattern here this is only going to be available on the store through the holidays so after december this is not going to be something you're going to be able to get so get it now while you can and especially if you want to have it before christmas uh you better order it sooner than later because sometimes shipping can take a little while in between print cycles and stuff so if you want to represent the scrap man essence this holiday season then go ahead and pick yourself up an ugly scrap man sweater all right now let's take a look at our final garment i think it's the final one and we got a pizza burger t-shirt. Let me actually just make sure before we go take a look at that. Can I use any more of these? Uh, nope, cannot use any more. So that is in fact, uh, we are all done with common garment boxes. Oops, that's not right. All right, let's see, what was that one? Pizza burger shirt, there you go. Just a pizza burger on a shirt. That's a pizza burger shirt. All right, let's get back in our normal clothes and let's get out of here and get over to the crashed ship. All right, let's see if I can remember how to fly this thing. All right, there we go. Hopefully I don't use too much fuel getting there and back. I do have some extra fuel on me, I believe though. So it shouldn't be too big of a concern. All right, crash ship, here I come. I've never actually approached the crash ship from this angle before. <laughs> so this is interesting to see where you start off, but from like above, ooh, a little bit of lag loading in. Oh yeah, I don't think I mentioned the logbook is on the crash ship. That's why I'm going here in case you were confused as to why I'm heading off in this direction. All right, how much fuel did we use? We use 24 fuel. 
Yeah, still pretty fuel intensive, but oh, here it is. Here it is. And by the way, um, I haven't actually shown this in my game, in my uh, channel yet, but you can see there's actually a suspension mug reference that is built into the game now, which I think is kind of awesome. So I did see everyone mentioning that to me when the game first came out, but I never actually came back here to show it off on the channel. But here we go. We now have a handy dandy logbook. So now when I press L, oh, so now it looks like the time. Oh, interesting. If you notice, um, I don't have a time in my top left corner. So I actually have to open up the logbook to see what time it is. We're not gonna have that just visible. So you, it's gonna be a little bit scary now when it comes to trying to remember to look at the time for uh, raids and everything. So this is the beginnings of what is supposed to be a quest system. The quest system itself, I don't think is actually, there are no actual quests implemented as far as I know, but, oh, so you can set a waypoint to the crash ship and to the mechanic station. Vessel status, ooh, interesting. What? There's some gibberish going on here. All right, so if I set waypoint, oh, can I not set waypoint yet? Maybe this isn't functional yet. And I can also turn off, on and off my beacons. So now if I look around, you see my beacons are not there. And then I'll turn on chemicals. Chemicals are over there. Whoops, wrong button. I'll turn the rest on. Actually, I don't want the trader on. So yeah, now I have, I actually just want just my home beacon on just so I can find my way back home easily at all times. But all the other ones I can turn on if I happen to need them at any point, if I want my chemical access or packing station or whatever. Oh, so here's actually an indicator of what our quests are gonna be based on. Better keep the ship coordinates handy. Maybe I can get back here later when I can make her space worthy again. So it seems like we're gonna be rebuilding our ship as part of the main quest. So. Sunset's gonna happen soon. Let me get up in the sky. I have like a minute to find, I need to find an oil field. Cause the next big thing is we're gonna get over to some oil fields. Cause that's the, like, that's what I'm most excited about with this update, but oh no, this is bad. Ah, <laughs> I am wasting a bunch of time now. But yeah, the oil is one of the major game changers here. So I wanna find the closest oil field to my home. Apparently they're in the desert. And I don't know if, I'm gonna have any that close to my home base, which is kind of unfortunate. That would have definitely been a factor to consider when picking the home base, but I didn't know how oil was going to work in the future. So let's see what we can find. Hopefully we can find some oil not too far away. All right, so there's my home over on the right. It hasn't loaded in. Oh, <gasps> no way, right here? <gasps> this is awesome. This is so close. I think this is all we need too. I think this is it. And the sun's just about to set now. Look at this. What happens if I get in it? Okay, that's interesting. It's really dark in here, <laughs> which is understandable. So this is oil. I have an oil field literally right down the street. So this is gonna be super, super convenient. So I actually brought materials with me before I recorded. I went and uh, got some, uh, some materials that I needed to make all of this. So I am going to be doing what I did with the water and what I did with the chemicals. The same kind of setup where we're gonna have four chests. Actually, I don't need all these chests on me right now. I have extra chests because I want to take some oil back with me. But we're gonna have four chests uh, that are gonna be constantly uh, vacuuming up oil. So whenever we come back here, we can just get four chests worth of oil and it's gonna be awesome. All right, so hopefully, ooh, this is not very large. I'm gonna have to maybe adjust my design of this. Ah, I don't have any lights. It's so dark here without the light, but I'm gonna try to build this in the throughout the nighttime. All right, I turned my brightness up. So what I'm gonna be doing is let's just actually start this right now so that we'll have some oil already on its way in as we're, as we're building this. And here, you know, that's hooked up to there. That hooks up to there. There we go. Now we got, let's take a look. There we go. That's our first official vacuum pumped oil in our survival series. All right, so let's go ahead and add some more onto here. So I think I brought enough vacuum pumps that literally every single chest uh, slot can be occupied with vacuum pumps. All right, so we got that like that, and then I need to figure out where I can put another set of these so that they're not gonna be, oh, actually, I guess I could just, ooh. I could just go out from here. All right, hold on a second. There we go, that should be, 
perfectly doable. All right, let's hook everything else up now. All right, so now we got all four vacuum pumps here, but I do have one issue. Um, I'm gonna have to redo this switch because what I want to be able to do, oh, and this is kind of annoying me that these aren't all facing in the same direction. Let me fix that. But what I wanna be able to do is remove these. I wanna be able to remove these uh, chests and bring them up to my vehicle because I think that'll be quicker than trying to remove everything from here and put it in a different chest. So I need to create some type of trust system to make all of these chests uh, removable without the vacuum pumps being detached. All right, so I think I built a system here that should hopefully work. I'm gonna test it out in a little bit, but I wanna come back here with my scouting vehicle. Uh, so I'm gonna leave a beacon here now. Now that we actually have oil, so I'm gonna go ahead and put this beacon in right here where I think it's gonna be not very likely that anyone's gonna come. So I'm gonna go ahead and put, this is the only real symbol that is closest to oil to me. So I'm gonna stick with that. And I don't really know what color to use for oil. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna use blue, I guess. Yeah, I think that fits okay. What time is it? 4.30 a.m. All right, the sun's starting to come up. So this is actually all done but I don't think I can put these chests on this vehicle very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and fly back and then drive back here, which it shouldn't take very long at all. Okay, there we go. The lag's coming in. Good old lag base. And nailed it. Look at that landing. What's going on over here? Hey, you leave him alone. You guys leave that cow alone. He ain't done nothing to you. You're welcome. What? Did he just... Okay, no, he's alive. I thought thought he did something bad there. So let's go ahead and get ourselves some oil. Make sure my system actually works. All right, so here's the idea. I should have four dedicated oil chests, pretty much, that I would always just come and swap out. So uh, I'm going to have to replace this switch. These are all full anyway. So what I should be able to do is just take that and place it on my vehicle. There we go. And then I should be able to take this chest and find where it fits. There we go. And now everything should be hooked back up to it. So then I take that, place it on my vehicle, and then replace this chest. Oh, that doesn't work. Why doesn't that work? What if I do this one? There we go. And then I take that, put it on the vehicle. Oh, and what I should be doing, hold on. Uh, let me get my switch back. I'll put the switch right here. And then I need to hook this back up into all of the things. Because now it'll automatically start pumping as soon as I replace the chest. Or at least, that's the idea. Alright, there we go. Now these chests are pumping, so then I should be able to place that right there. And then I take this chest. I'll just place it there for now, so I can go ahead and put that one back. And let's check under here. Yep, yeah, everything is pumping. Alright, so that's the system. That is how we get four chests worth of oil really easily back and forth all right let's carry these back and put them in and we're gonna make ourselves some more fuel for our flyer all right we go ahead and park underneath our grate here and then we should be able to easily just pick our chests up and i think i'm gonna put them over on this side this will be the oil side so now we got one pick this one up and two and this should be thousands of oil i actually don't know how much oil all right, there's three. All right, and here is number four. So let's go ahead and check here. If I want to create gasoline, I've got much oil. Here, we can just go ahead and start putting that on repeat. There we go. So now oil is no longer an issue whatsoever. No more just wading around through the bottom of the ocean, picking up oil spout after oil spout. So I think that this is a great, great improvement. Now we just need, uh, how do we do this with glue? I want to do this with glue. And also we need flower seeds. All right. So now that I don't need oil for a while, I can go ahead and turn off the oil uh, beacon indicator. And I think my only, my major criticism with this, I don't actually like that the time is in the logbook now. Because now if I'm in a vehicle driving around, I can't see what time it is. I have to get out of my vehicle, open up the logbook, and then see what time it is. I like just having it always visible. Um, I wish there was, I wish there was a setting. Kind of like the beacons. You can turn the beacons on and off. You should be able to turn the times on and off. Dave 552. Yeah, I guess that has to be in game days. I didn't start 552 days ago. But yeah, look at all this fuel crafting. Like, how much is this even using of my oil so far? 
Yeah, so I've used this much out of that chest and this much out of that chest because both of these bots are crafting it. So yeah, that's going to be a lot of oil for us. In fact, I might need some more chests for just crafting stuff because like I don't have a whole lot over here. We're going to have so much. We're going to have so much gas. This definitely cuts out a big part of the grind, at least in the mid to late game. At the beginning of the game, before you get like all your crafting stuff set up, you are going to have to still obviously get oil out of the water and stuff. But um, I've been waiting for this for a long time, so it is a very, very welcome update. Quick reminder that the ugly Scrapmas sweater is going to be on the store for a limited time only, so make sure you grab one while you can if that is something that you're interested in. So don't forget to check the links down below in the description. So if you enjoyed this episode and you want to see more survival content, don't forget to check out this playlist on the end screen right here. Hope this this video has earned your subscription. Anyway, this has been Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.